link and you might miss it, but there are changes at the Petersburg Police Department, namely how the SUVs are being refueled. Our senior reporter Wayne Koval explains how switching over to propane is helping Petersburg police and saving taxpayers money. Five months in, we've had no problems with the vehicles whatsoever. If you look closely at Petersburg Police SUVs, you might be surprised to see this. There's been a considerable cost savings uh, to the taxpayers in terms of gasoline. A new sticker that's been added on over the past few months. So we were fortunate that we were able to get a grant uh, that cost absolutely nothing to the taxpayers of our city. And that grant is expected to change the bottom line of the police department's budget. Oh yeah, they get the stuff installed, covered by the grant, and then they get to enjoy the savings yearly on the fuel expense. The police SUVs have the ability at any time to run on gas or propane. And right now, most run on propane all the time. Right now, you're seeing that uh, we're seeing that propane uh, is about 30% cheaper than the average cost of gasoline. All right. Whelan says at the end of the year, the savings will add up. It's easy to see thousands of dollars in savings a year per vehicle. And savings not just on the cost of gas versus propane. It extends the life to oil changes because you don't have the amount of soot content that gets in the oil, so that gets extended out some. Being an ultra clean burning fuel, it also extends the life of the motors. And a cleaner burning fuel means overall it's providing a cleaner and safer environment for our community. With savings in fuel costs, the chief says the budget could see money reallocated from fuel to initiatives for the community, such as stop gun violence or to restart the PAL program, which is aimed at children.